What Prime Minister Modi did today. PM Modi earlier today also inaugurated the latest architectural feat of India, the Sudarshan Setu in Gujarat. It's India's longest cable state bridge and connects o o Oka to the Beit Dwarka Island, which houses the famous Dwarkadish temple of Lord Krishna. Remember, Dwarkadish is where the PM prayed earlier in the day as well. PM Modi had laid the foundation stone of the 2.3 kilometer long bridge in October 2017, saying it will serve as a link between old and new Dwarka. The four lane 27.20 meter wide bridge has 2.50 meter wide footpath on each side. So, Darshan Setu boasts a unique design featuring a footpath adorned with verses from the Bhagavad Gita and images of Lord Krishna on both sides. Desha Tanigam, political analyst, joins us for more details on this story. Desha Tanigam, uh, further infrastructure push for Gujarat today with the inauguration of the Sudarshan Setu by PM Modi. Yes, Sudha. In fact, uh, if you look at the entire working of this present government right from 2014, what we only hear is the longest, biggest, the largest. So that is the vision that they have. And this bridge is certainly the longest cable state bridge in India. So an architectural marvel and and uh, kudos to our engineers and the planners and administrators. And this will also boost uh, tourism in Beit Dwarka, which is the which was, uh, is considered uh, a board of Lord Krishna, and has been mentioned in Mahabharata as well, as Antardhi. And therefore, this is uh, something which, uh, from the pilgrims' point of view, from the tourism points of view, it is going to increase the GDP of that particular area, uh, the region and the state, and also add to the national GDP. And uh, when we look at the infrastructure, uh, infrastructure push of this government, whether it is railways, airports, roads, all is with one aim, to make India a developed country by 2047. And that push is going, uh, in fact, this government is going hammer and tongs about the development uh, projects. And look at the Prime Minister. <laughs> Every day, you know, uh, so many projects are being completed and inaugurated and certain foundations are also being laid, keeping the future in mind. And uh, that is why I say longest, largest and biggest are the three words when we talk of infrastructure in India. And roads make the nation developed, as we saw in U.S. also. And, uh, and bridges and tunnels are important part of those road networks and uh, giving access to the places where uh, it was very difficult to go. And Bedwarka obviously is an island and uh, a very important place for Hindus as well. So therefore, I think uh, the infrastructure push that we see from this government of India is phenomenal, exceptional uh, as compared to the scale space which we, see, which we saw in the past prior to 2014. And uh, infrastructure gives a lot of returns to the GDP. And their cost is, you know, over the period of time is recovered and recovered very fast. And therefore, instead of uh, having a consumption-based economy, it is on capital uh, investment. CapEx investment is the government is uh, focusing on, which generates employment, uh, promotes agriculture, business, industries. So it's a very holistic and overall uh, uh, approach that this government of India has and uh, we will surely see our country a developed nation by 2047. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.